Hey guys, Tarek here from Chartermade. And if you're into making handmade leather goods, you might recognize that knife. That's a scarving knife that I make. And if you are out there making your own goods, I've got a story that I'd like to share with you. So I've had to drive 850 kilometers to get here, the knife maker's shop in Clarence. This is where it all began. So we're gonna go there in the back and let me show you where it all started. Working with their hands, mm. they kind of think it happens. I don't know, maybe, night, yeah. or you have to be gifted or like. How many years would you say it took you to start feeling where you started to feel competent? Yeah, about your fortieth knife. Then your eye start to see mistakes. Do you still have the wallets I made you? Yeah. And they look at this. Still use it every single day. This was made in two thousand and fourteen, and was the trade for coming to make some knives in this workshop. Yeah. Hey, geez, that's looking good. Eh? <laughs> it does, right. yeah, yeah. I use it every single day. This was, a, this was the scarfing knife. Mm. So I made you this with the scarfing knife. Mm. I think it's very easy to look at kind of guys that are doing, doing well, but everything starts somewhere. And for me, and for the Charter Made journey, at least for the knife side of the Charter Made journey, it started here in this workshop. And it started with trading, trading some of my skills uh, for Fritz's skills over here. I used this to be able to make that first scarfing knife. Mm. That's a lot of history. You still got this first diving knife. Yeah. Like when I first started working with the, the steel, my hands were so soft that this is a disc sander, so you, like, it, it flattens off the steel. But you, you push your blade onto, onto the machine over here. And I remember, at least on the first batch of scarving knives, <laughs> that this whole section of skin, I didn't have a finger. <laughs> Do you remember that? We all start somewhere, we've all had a struggle to get mm -hmm. Like I think like, people don't There's get a that. Journey, yeah. Like when people come and look at what you've done over here and they see your beautiful knives and they go like, you must be lucky. Like look at all the machines. Mm. Like, like that's the biggest thing I've got. Like look at all these machines you've got, you're so lucky. But then I know your story of how you got these machines. Yes. Blood, sweat and tears. Blood, sweat and tears. I started this, this whole thing I started with a, basically with $150 in my back pocket. That's it in my, in, in my duffel bag. Yeah. But that's this has all come yeah. from working hard, hard for many, many, mm -hmm. many years. And believe in yourself. And faith. Faith. Right. Faith is powerful. Yeah. Like one of the things that I remember, especially looking back on this time, because remember my work had just been fe featured in GQ magazine with the leather work. Mm. I made those beautiful bags yes. and stuff like that. And then when people started asking me for that, that weird scarving knife that is now quite well known, um, I was really scared to put the Charmade logo on it. And I think, I think that the first seven knives that went out, the first seven scarving knives, have the Bossy Knives logo on it. It's just weird, these, these things that we have fears on, mm. instead of having what you said now, you just have to have the faith to step out sometimes. Yeah. And then I think it was after the seventh knife, it had the Charmade logo and the Bossy Knives logo mm. on it. Because I was still like, oh, do I put my logo? <laughs> I've, taken so, I've taken so long to become credible in leather work. Um, yeah, and I think yeah. after that, the rest is yeah, history, as they say. Facing fears. So, it's hard to believe that was six years ago. I think I had a better beard. Really? I, I had a better beard then, though. I think. <laughs> I a, it was at least a bigger beard. We started that with me making knife sheaths for you. Mm. Do you remember? I remember, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's keeping us going. Eh? Yeah, time, time and persistence. Eh? And don't quit. There's always yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, so if you're having a hard day. You don't know what's happening tomorrow. Yes. That's why we keep on going. Doing anything worthwhile takes time and persistence, dedication to your craft. I just want to thank you for coming along on the journey to see where my first scarving knife was made in my old town of Clarence in South Africa. And if you're out there creating and making something yourself, I just want to say, well done. I know from personal experience of doing the knives, the leather, the videos, it takes a tremendous amount of courage to put anything out. 
and a tremendous amount of effort at that, whether that's learning the skills that need to go into something or just the mental barriers that you've got to break through to be able to, to put your art out into the world. So just keep doing it. Guys, if you want to see more of Fritz's work, I am putting a link below. And then Charlene and I are already working on our next pattern video for a classic style dop kit, toiletry bag. If you want to see that, hit the subscribe button below because that'll be coming out pretty soon. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.